in Excel's the update statement. It is used to add a row or a record. The record means all the data in one row of a specified person or object. So update. Can anyone tell me the syntax of update? Update the table name, set the name of the table, then set and then whatever the column name is there, and then the is equal to the value for the name. And then we will put the conditional over Then we will put that over there. Update the table name. Set the column name and whatever data we want. We can use some conditions there. We can also give the condition of where and the condition like to some value. Like if I give serial number is equals to one. So and if I give a name. And only I give some other name. Then it will enter this, it will change the name from the word I gave earlier to this where the serial number is one. Next is the select statement. It is used to query the database, that is, extract data for using from a database. Like the most simple select statement is select table. This will display all the columns, all the records from the table, whichever we ended here. Uh, next is like from the table, students are created three columns, but I just want to see the name and the age. So I will from the table. Now this will enter only the name and the age. It will show me only that of oh, all the records. Uh, if we want to see only of some records, we can add the where clause. Where in the where clause, we can also give conditions like I want to see the name and age of the people who have the roll numbers between five and ten. So where. Rule number is between five and ten. Or in this, as it is of numbers, we have one more option. Rule number is greater than uh, 5 and roll number is less than 10. So it will show me all the roll number, all the name and age of the people who have the roll numbers between 5 and 10. Uh, then we have the arithmetic operations using the select statement. Uh, like in the select statement, I don't want to use any table, but I want to calculate something. So that is also possible in MySQL. Select 78 plus 22. So it will give me the answer 100. In this, I have not used any table, I have not used any column, row, nothing. It is simple arithmetic operations. There are several arithmetic operators like plus, that's used for addition, minus, we use for subtraction, uh, this is the sign for division, uh, star that indicates multiplication, and the relational operator. 
relational operator is used to get the remainder. Remainder. Uh, yeah, remainder operator. The remainder operator is used to get the remainder after dividing. Like right? if I give you seventy-eight remainder operator two, so the answer will be zero because it is completely divisible by two. Seventy is completely divisible by two. Otherwise, if I would give anything else that is not divisible, it will be only the remainder. Then we have the relation operators and or and not. And is, these all are used in the where clause. And is used where we want to give a condition that the conditions given both should be justified with and both should be accepted. And or any one of them could be right. Um, it's, it's not necessary that both of them should be, and not means none of the conditions, means the condition is not accepted. This is not logical operators. Yes, logical operators. Then uh, we have the invalid statement. That is also used in where, like I give select. Start from students where name like and here we give like I end of P percentage. So it will search for any any value of name that starts with P but has any number of like, alphabets or characters after it. Like, if I would give percentage here, it would mean that P comes somewhere in between. And there is one more, right? Like, I know how many characters are there after it. So, I will give like the number of characters that are not filled that I will give inside this here, uh, quotes. Now we will do the delete statement. It is used to delete text or data from the table. A uh, delete table, delete statement is like delete from table. If we give only this, then we delete all the data from the table. And then we have another option to delete only a specified thing using the where clause. Here we give the condition. So here is what you saw are all the statements used in my SQL. Thank you.